Tuesday morning. Anytime we hear the word snow, it gets everybody's attention. Uh, that's one part of the story as far as the weather alert's concerned. The other is the temperatures that are going to be falling very quickly around here. Yeah, we're going to start off in the 50s. We're even at 60 in some spots this morning. <laughs> and tomorrow morning, we're talking single digit wind chills. So quite the change. Yeah, that's pretty dramatic. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the conditions outside right now. It's a cold front that's bringing that uh, change of air masses here from the mild conditions we saw for your Veterans Day to record breaking cold for tomorrow. As that front comes through, it's bringing a period of rainfall that eventually will change over to some light snowfall. It's very minor. We've got a little bit of mist and fog this morning in northern Rhode Island, but most spots going to be dry for the majority of the morning commute. And we're just going to call it a light mixture today with uh, nothing sticking to the roadways. They'll remain bare, but we could get a really minor accumulation on some of the grass or car tops. Record cold follows and then it's still looking cooler than normal heading into the weekend. In our Providence area, I mentioned the low cloud cover, a little bit of mist this morning, 45 degrees there with a west northwest wind at five. Mild air just to the south of Providence right now. We're at 60 and very close to it in Newport and in Westerly, 57 in New Bedford and 58 in Hyannis. I do expect us in interior Rhode Island to briefly tap into that mild air too. So rising temperatures at the bus stop this morning in the 50s. Most of the bus stop time is going to be dry for you, but it's as the school day gets going that those light rain showers will start to move in. And by the time the kids are heading off the bus, most spots have made that transition from light rain to light snow. Here's all the cold air that's lurking right along and behind our cold front. The front right now is going to be lifting this area of low pressure to the north and east and dragging that cold front through as the day goes on. So here's an hour by hour look at the forecast. Again, we start off with mild conditions. We're in the 50s this morning through the end of the morning commute. Here's that batch of uh, rain showers starting to push in late morning. Lunchtime, rain's falling. It's in the afternoon that we start to see that rain snow line drop south and east across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. It's not going to last long. The temperatures will be dropping through the 30s in the afternoon. And so just some light snow falling again around school dismissal time. By the start of the evening commute, this is already winding down to so five, six o'clock in the evening. We're drying out from west to east with temperatures continuing to drop. So by uh, seven, eight o'clock in the evening, we're already going to see it near and below freezing in many spots. As far as how much snow we get, again, just a little dusting, a little coating on some of your car tops, uh, just enough to know that that first snowfall of the season has happened about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of snow. Again, not sticking to the roadways. One thing we will have to watch though is the temperatures drop, whether the roads have a chance to dry out. If they don't, uh, we could see some slippery spots developing. Five o'clock in the morning, we're down to about 19 degrees. As far as the wind chill goes today, much of a factor this morning, but look at the wind chill this afternoon. It'll be feeling by the evening commute like it's in the 20s. And here's that wind chill overnight tonight. Midnight, wind chill of around 10, 15 degrees. And by tomorrow morning, the wind chill only 5 to 10 above. And it doesn't improve much in the afternoon. It's going to feel like a, a midwinter day tomorrow with uh, wind chills in the teens. And I expect us to break some records. We're both the low and high temperature tomorrow. 37 is the coldest high on record from more than 100 years ago, likely only to hit highs close to 30. And we'll start off with that very chilly air again on Thursday morning, 16 degrees, a little milder by afternoon, upper 30s at least. Friday, it's looking like a nice finish to the work week, 50 degrees, and then back to that chilly air for Saturday. Looking ahead to the end of the weekend, we'll have to watch Sunday night into Monday for potential offshore disturbance may clip us with some showers. We'll